Our first question is from Vivita. Where, are, where is Vivita? Hi, Hi there. Hi. Uh, were the Rolling Stones right to remove brown sugar from their set list? Okay, so this is okay. So this week it's been d discovered that the Rolling Stones have said they're not going to play Brown Sugar anymore. Brown Sugar being one of their most famous, uh, most popular songs, but the lyrics are quite offensive. And actually, the lyrics have always been quite offensive mm. to Brown Sugar. It's, it's always been very much on the edge. And um, I, I, Mick Jagger has been speaking about this and talking about how you know even he isn't quite sure what the lyrics mean. But of course, it refers to slavery. I mean, I can't imagine. Maybe he was on some kind of substance. I doubt it. I wouldn't want to assume that. But you know what I mean. <laughs> but this, it's very interesting, isn't it? That he, they would no longer play it. It's a big favourite. What do you yeah. think, Leo? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's, it's ridiculous to, to ban it. And, like, all rock and roll, if you look back at all the classic rock and roll, like Led Zeppelin, ACDC, ACDC's songs are just uh, so grotesque. They're all about hiding in bushes. And, uh, are know, they? Yeah, the night, night Stalker and, you know, all, all this stuff. <laughs> it's hugely inappropriate for 2021. But great songs. And who are the people? Who are the people making these... Wo where's some woke rock and roll what? that's actually good? Well, I, I, saw, I saw you tweet as well that maybe they should just ban the... Uh... The boring people from their audience. Yeah, right? exactly. Don't don't ban the songs. Ban like ban boring. Ban woke people from your audience. Okay, then so, we can have a good time. Well, well, okay. So Eric, but what do you think about this? Because I mean, you you you're, you have more sympathy with this kind of perspective, don't you? That maybe well, the song is offensive and maybe it shouldn't be. They haven't banned the song. They've made the choice not to play it at right. this time. And Nick Jagger said it could oh, come that, back into the playlist. That's so like that's new a choice. That's a choice. Know, that Eric's made. got a point. Surely but they haven't banned. No one's banned you from playing it. You can still download it and listen to it. It's mm -hmm. still everywhere. And uh, and also, even Jagger said in 1995. He was kind of cringing at some of the lyrics. Yeah. So even twenty odd years ago, he was going, but, "Ooh, this okay, might be a bit much." But isn't rock and roll a bit like this? Like rock and roll is a bit about being subversive, not quite knowing what's going on. I mean, the lyrics—I don't know what those lyrics mean. Mm. I know that it's going into some very dark places, and 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 maybe that's part of the thrill of it, part of the excitement of it. It, it certainly isn't endorsing a straight. It certainly isn't a straightforward endorsement of a racist point of view, is it? I mean, I no, know. absolutely not. It's, it's very anti-slavery, and it's, uh, it's it's uplifting and uh, reveling in the the beauty. Uh, and the sexuality of, of, uh, of uh, a black woman. Uh, yeah, it's... So, you know, it's, it's not... And I think, you know, if people become scared to, to talk about uh, anything outside of their... What, Rolling Stones going to just... Next, Rolling Stones are going to sing about being uh, a white accountant working nine to five. <laughs> you know, it's not going to... Well, if it's, it's got a good guitar riff, that could work. Yeah, it? I mean... Who knows? Maybe. It's a rock and roll maybe. song about Foxtons or something. I think that could work. <laughs> it's interesting, though, because I, I met uh, uh, Marsha Hunt, a woman called Marsha Hunt, who's this really incredible woman, and, she, and, and there was some very... Um, she was a, a Mick Jagger's partner at the time that he was writing Brown Sugar, and I met her in Edinburgh, and she came along to my show, and she was telling me afterwards about how... She said, I'm Brown Sugar. I'm Br and and, it's, and it, it, there is an ambiguity of who was the inspiration here, mm. but there's a very strong case that she was mm. a principal, certainly a principal inspiration towards the song and she was very really clearly proud of this and uh, amazing woman by the way absolutely amazing